Uh, Istanbul has a new airport. Its scale is breathtaking and reflects the Turkish government's ambitions for it to become a hub capable of rivaling the likes of Dubai and Abu Dhabi. By the end of this year, it will have three runways and will be able to handle 90 million passengers, although that will rise to 200 million a year once fully complete. Well, IGA's airport's chief executive is in London to sign an exclusive hotel management deal with the hotel. And Chudre Samsunlu joins me now. Very good evening to you. Thank you. Istanbul already has two airports. Why does it need another one? Well, the Atatürk Airport, which is located in the, in the European side of the city, is very constrained in terms of capacity on the runway as well as on the terminal. And the flagship carrier of Turkey, Turkish Airlines, has very aggressive growth, growth program and the infrastructure is not able to keep, keep up with it. Therefore, the government, as a part of the liberalization efforts in the country in the last 15 years, it conducted a, a, a tender for a brand new airport with significant room for growth and now that's why we are going to have a new airport with new facility, new runways, a new terminal so it, it will be able to service the flagship carrier as well as all the international carriers who want to get a slot in Turkey to increase their frequencies. And this has cost something like 11 billion US dollars. How long is the payback for the Turkish government going to be? Turkish government pays nothing because it's a PPP program which is basically all the financial obligations is assumed by my sponsors and all the investment will be made by them and then we are also going to pay on top a concession fee for 25 years and after 25 years the asset will be, will be returned back to, the, back to the government. But in terms of the return for the Turkish economy you think that, will, that return will be generated it's fairly? Be an immense I mean, contribution to the Turkish economy once we completed all those four phases the contribution to the GDP is going to be around 5%. We are going to be uh, increasing the employment around 200,000 people. And the uh, contribution to the GDP is going to be somewhere around 40, 40 billion euro. And by how long do you expect to uh, build the railway connection from the airport into the city centre? It is already under construction. Uh, unfortunately, at the, on, the, on the scheduled opening day, which is our Republic Day on the 29th of October, the metro won't, uh, the, the, the tube is, won't be ready, but in the first half of next year, it's going to be ready, and it's going to be something similar to London, uh, uh, the, the London Heathrow Express, with only four stops between oh, well. the airport and the downtown city. I hope it won't be as expensive as the Heathrow Express, that's for sure. Uh, and it won't be. Now you've had quite a few fatalities uh, building this airport. I think something like 27 in all. Why was that? Well, half of them were natural debt. Uh, and and there has been some car ac I mean the the accident car accidents in the, on on the construction site as a result of which around 12 people I mean uh, passed away so uh, and another 14 people were just natural that so to be absolutely clear you're you're squarely in this in your sites here at Dubai and Abu Dhabi you, you're looking to become a gateway between the east and the west but is this more about getting people into Turkey or is it about allowing Turkish people to see the rest of the world well, it is both. Um, actually, meeting East and West is more qualified for Turkey because uh, historically we are on the, on the very important trade routes between East and West and now we are, re we are reviving this story. And this, this, this new airport is going to be a hub not only for Turks but mainly for, for, for people living in five continents because the flagship carrier Turkish Airlines flies everywhere in, in, in these in this continents. We've just heard though from example uh, from Qantas doing a direct flight from London to Perth. Is the hub model still relevant in this day and age when you've got these big planes that are capable of flying point to point over long distances? <clears throat> well the issue is you need, you need to uh, gather people from, from each, all destinations and bring them to the hub and from, from, from that location you distribute them wherever wherever they want to go in four hours distance around Istanbul there are 200 destinations 60 capitals so that requires some kind of hub mechanism which is going to be more appealing a much cheaper transportation mean for everybody oh, very very briefly uh, President Erdogan's called an election today was that is that going to be a surprise to the business community well elec elections are called in every democratic nations we are going to be heading towards an early election I hope the outcome of the election is going to do the best for us and, and for the world. All right, Chudray Samsunlu, appreciate you joining me. Thanks for coming in.